In this video, we're going to look at solving a literal equation, s equals rl minus a over r minus 1 for three separate variables. One for r, one's for a, and one's for l. So we'll do all these together. So let's do r first. So we start with s equals rl minus a over r minus 1. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get that r out of the denominator. We can do that by multiplying both sides by r minus 1. Because those will cancel, we no longer have a fraction, and r is out of the denominator. Now in looking what we have left, r minus 1 times s equals rl minus a. We have two r's in here and we have to solve for r. So we need to get both terms with r in it on the same side. Now in order to move things around, we do need to get rid of these parentheses. So what we're going to need to do next is distribute this s. So first we'll get r times s, and then s times 1 is just s, but it's negative, so it's a minus s equals rl minus a. We might be able to use some of this work in these other problems. Now, remember what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for r. We have two of them in there. We need to get every term with r on the same side. So let's just bring them over to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract rl from both sides. Now all the terms that do not have an r in them need to go to the other side. So that means this is already good. We need to move the s over, and we can do that by adding it. So once again, that's gone. So looking at what we have left, we have an rs minus rl on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have a negative a and a positive s, and we can put those in either order as long as we keep our signs. So let's write it as s minus a. Now the reason we had to do that is because we're still trying to solve for r and we still have two of them. But because they're on the same side and r is, a, is, in, each, is in each term, we can factor in r out. So we get r times s minus l. And this might be easier to see going the other direction. To go from here to here, we would distribute the r, and that's where we get rs minus rl. Equals s minus a. We're almost done. Last step divide by s minus l on both sides. Those do cancel because we have a product. So r equals s minus a over s minus l. You may be tempted to cancel out these s's. Do not do it. We do not have a product on top and bottom. We have subtraction. So we cannot cancel out those s's. So that's solving for r. Let's talk about solving for a. In solving for a, we would have the same first step. So we do the same first step as before, and we would probably go ahead and distribute that s. So let's just bring this across. So now we're solving for a, and we're at this point, r s minus s l equals r l minus a. So our goal is to solve for a. We need a on a side by itself. We have almost got it. So if we subtract the rl from both sides, let's cancel. Subtract rl over here. We get rs minus sl minus rl equals negative a. We've almost got it. We just want that to be positive. So we're going to multiply both sides by a negative 1 and we're going to get that a equals negative rs plus sl plus rl and we've got this solved for a. Solving for l will be really similar. Let's go to our let's go to this exact same step we had right here. So we're going to use this again and we'll put it up here. So R S 
minus SL equals RL minus A. Now we do have two L's in there, so we got to get them on the same side like we had two with with the R's. So let's add SL to both sides. That gets rid of it on that side, and we'll put those two on the same side. And we'll add A, because it does not have an L, to get rid of it on this side. So we have R S plus A equals R L minus S L. We'll use the same technique we did last time, which is to factor out the L. So L times R minus S is equal to R S plus A. Same exact technique as before. Last step, divide by R minus S on both sides. And there we have what L is equal to. So, notice that there were some similarities in how we solve for these. In fact, they all involve the same first two steps. We're just then deciding which variable we want to solve for, getting that variable isolated on a side, and then either factoring and dividing, or in the case of A, we didn't have to factor and divide because there's only one.